Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn subject of this sentence. Subject is an important thing. In the last class we have learned the sentence is constructed with subject, verb and object. In each sentence you get a subject, you get a verb and you get an object. These three things together make a sentence. We have learned that very clearly in the last class but here we will learn in more detail how we can come up with different subjects and what subject actually is. Let's look into the very first example we have. Kareem is playing in the field. Kareem is playing in the field. Here, Kareem is the subject. Now, the whole sentence is talking about Kareem. Who? Kareem. Now, subject is the thing that the sentence usually talks about. It could be a thing or it could be a person like you, like me, like your friend or like our friend. Or it could be a thing. For example, it could be the shirt. It could be even the button. Or maybe if you have got a mobile phone, it could be this mobile phone. Even it could be your book. It could be the pencil, pen. Everything we can see around us. They all could be a subject. Here, Kareem is playing in the field. See, Kareem is the subject, playing is the verb. And in the field, we have learned that we call the object of the sentence. Now, we are talking about Kareem in this sentence. Who is playing? Ask this question. Who is playing? Kareem is playing. If it were you instead of Kareem, for example, Kareem is not there, rather you are playing that football or you are playing in the field. In that case, you will be the subject. You can replace Kareem. You can put say, I am playing in the field. See, if we just change the subject, it change the meaning of the sentence. When we say I, it means I am doing it. When I say Kareem is playing in the field, then we are meaning that Mr. Kareem or Kareem, this boy, is playing in the field. So the difference is subject explains about the thing we are talking. Now, you can name anything that can play in the field in this sentence. Just replace it. For example, Kareem is playing in the field. Salma is playing in the field. Tommy is playing in the field. The dog is playing in the field. The boy is playing in the field. So you are just replacing it. I am playing in the field. He is playing in the field. He is playing in the field. Kareem is playing in the field. Every time we are just replacing the subject. Change the subject and you get a different meaning. That means a different person is playing. Every time you are changing the subject. You can get some more explanation given in the book. Go 
through the book each sentences carefully. If you don't understand it, ask someone who could help you understand it. If you understand all the meaning given in the explanation of the very first page in this chapter, it should be pretty clear for you to understand how you should grab the subject of a sentence. Now, we will go through some examples so that you understand the idea clearly. Look at these two examples. One is saying, Maria has long hair. Another is saying, Sam has long hair. See, Maria, Sam. Maria, Sam. Both are two different persons, but they both have long hair. We want to say that this guy has long hair. First, I'm saying Maria has long hair. And then I'm saying Sam has long hair. Maria has long hair. Sam has long hair. I just change Maria into Sam. You replace Maria and bring Sam here. The sentence gives us a complete different meaning. It's talking about another person. See, if you change the subject, we change the person or the thing or the object that we are talking about or we want to talk about. Now, who else could have along here? Just imagine. Maybe you know someone who has got a long hair. You could say that Miss Salma has got a long hair. I have got long hair. You just replace the subject and see the meaning of the sentence changes. This is the subject. Every time you want to talk about someone or about something you bring the name of it and subject is nothing but the name of a thing or a object or a person or an animal or an electronics product or anything you could name actually it could be even and the name of a place or maybe something you even don't know, can't see. For example, YouTube. You are watching this video on YouTube. See, this name, YouTube, itself is a subject. It's a name. You are living in an area. It's the Cox's Bazaar area in Bangladesh. So this Cox's Bazaar area, this Cox's Bazaar is a name. You can use it as a subject. I hope now you have got it pretty clearly. Let's just do some more examples to make sure you have understood it. Now just do this exercise. Dad has got long hair. Who has got a long hair? Name anyone you can remember put the name there see the magic you are doing it yourself look at this joe is fat and look at this guy john is fat yes fat oh my god both of them are fat so both the sentence is saying the same thing he is fat he is fat as well. Both of them are fat. But see, the name is changing. It's saying Joe and say John. Joe, John. You just change the name from Joe and bring John here. The same sentence. John is fat. 
you can bring anything that could get fatter for example the cat even your dog they could get fat if you have got this fish even a fish could be fat you know fatty fish anything that is living it could get fat even a tree can get fat yes or no think about it there are many living things that could get fat and we can say the name of it in front of this sentence for example joe is fat john is fat i am fat he is fat she is fat my mom is fat my sister is fat now you can bring anything here just change the subject see this is what we call the subject of sentence we'll come up with some more examples until you understand it pretty clear let's go to the next one look at this two orange carrot both of them are same color orange is orange carrot is orange what else you can think about that are in orange color just bring the name look at this ball the ball is orange my shirt is orange the juice is orange his shirt is orange so you are just changing the subject here carrot is the subject here orange itself is the subject see these things are objects they are not living things like human being like you like me like the cat or the dog but you can name them this is this is the object anything that has got a name they are essentially the subject you can make them subject if you want to the horse runs first the tiger runs first the horse runs fast the tiger runs fast both of these things or animals can run fast both of them usually run fast running fast means it's too fast you know moving faster so this is what called fast so speedy it's fast now the thing here you need to understand we're changing the subject again instead of the horse we are saying the tiger or replacing the tiger we are saying the horse if you run fast and you could say i run fast if your friend runs fast you could say my friend run fast if your horse run fast you are saying my horse run fast if karim's horse run fast you could say karim's horse run fast so you name the subject bring the subject's name or a name and put it at the beginning of the sentence it becomes the subject here i hope now you have understood what could be the subject of a sentence i am going to give you more explanation about it i hope you will understand it this time look at this again fire is hot water is hot both the things are hot on fire another one is water yes both the things are hot fire water now changing the name and gives you a new subject here fire is the subject here author is the subject for example i could say tea is hot coffee is hot changing the name and the sentence is giving us a completely new meaning learn that it's so easy don't worry 
if you keep following me like this, I believe this time you will be going to speak better, speak English sooner than you have imagined. And of course you will be able to teach the students in a more better way if you understand, if you can speak English. Try to learn it, man. It's not so hard. See, I'm going to give you more idea how you can make English so easy. Look at this. Both here it's saying that they're taking smells. But it's the same. The same thing is happening. What they are doing? I'm taking smell. These guys are taking smells. Yeah, yeah, of course you know what smell is, right? could be good smell or it could be bad smell anyway let's just focus the pizza smells delicious and the cookies smell delicious 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 pizza the pizza smells delicious the cookies smell delicious Delicious, delicious. The pizza, the cookies. Try to improve some of your pronunciation. If you can, that's not so the requirement here. Now, let's just focus on the original topic. We're talking about the subject here. Now, cookies smells. The pizza smells. Here, changing the cookies into the pizza what else you can think of that smells delicious it's of course something would be delicious if it is a food yes now can you name some of the food that smells delicious let's just see mango mango smells delicious it could be or even the biryani the biryani smells delicious. Have you eaten that? Do you like apples? Maybe apple has for some of the smells you could like it. The apple smells delicious. The orange has got a nice smell. You could say the orange smells delicious. The next thing. He went to school. She went to school. Look at these two things. They both went to school. One is talking about he, another is talking about she. He, she. Both of them went to school. Can you not see that? Now, if they both went to school, where's the difference? Difference is in the subject. He or she change he with she or we can even change those he or she and bring a name Rahim went to school Kareem went to school but can you say the cat went to school no cat don't go to school do they no you cannot say the tiger went to school tigers they don't go to school Look at this final two examples for you. Yeah, in this lesson actually. Moon is learning English. Tom is learning English. Moon and Tom. Both of them are doing the same thing. They are learning English. Look at this sentence again. Moon is learning English. Look at this one now. Tom is learning English. What's the difference here? Tom, Moon. Tom, Moon. We're changing Tom and Moon. Change Tom and bring Moon. You get Moon is learning English. For example, my name is Rocky. If I just say Rocky is learning English. Or you could put your name here. For example, Rahim is learning English. I am learning English. English. This is the importance of subject. Now, the thing is how 
you can bring your subject how you can think of a subject before getting into that you must think what I want to talk what is the thing or who is the person I want to say about if it is you you say I if it is your friend you say their name or if it is a person you tell that person's name or if it is a thing you bring that thing's name if it is an animal you bring that animal's name just bring a name and that name will be the subject of your sentence and all these names are known as noun do you remember we have talked about noun now all the things in this world we have named them everything has got a name it could be in your native tongue or it could be having an universal name for example the earth is earth the sun is sun but we all have a different name in our native tongue all things goes right you could say the sun gives us light or maybe I could say Churjo gives us light we call the sun Churjo in Bengali whereas the Indians would say Suraj gives us the light so there are different names you can bring the name any name would be the subject of a sentence and these names are known as noun I hope you have understand that remember try to recall everything you have learned in the grade one yeah. noun as I told you it could be a person what is a person it could be a boy it could be a girl it could be a man it could be a woman it could be a baby these are the things we call now this person can be the subject you bring the name of this person in front of the sentence and that will be the subject of your sentence then it could be a thing what are the things there are many things around us that I have talked about those things right shirt pants shoes even whatever you can see around you all have got a name they are the things even drink water water is a thing it could be shoe it could be money it could be toy it could be car it could be a dog all these things the name of these things that we have given they can be the subject of a sentence now place look at this Cox's Bazaar Bangladesh Myanmar or Myanmar Burma these are the names of places or even you could say the market Bazaar bank shops all these are the names of places you can use these names of places as a subject the next thing is pronoun 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 now what are the pronouns instead in the replacement of subject or a noun what we can use is a pronoun for example instead of Rahim we could say he Salma instead of Salma we can say she so if any word that replaces the noun it becomes the pronoun that pronoun can be used as the subject we have already used it you already know those things he she it they them here there all these things all these little little pronouns we have been using in grade 
one look you can see there's a list given in the book those are the usual pronoun just make sure you learn them if you learn them it's going to be easier for you to learn English I am pretty confident that you guys are going to learn English if you just just follow me be following me in your book there are some examples given check those examples those examples will help you to understand more about this subject for example my mother is very smart here my mother mother is a noun and it's the subject of this sentence Jim runs fast here who runs fast Jim is the name of a person that's why it's a noun you can say Jim runs first Jim is the subject again if you want to use pronoun you could say he runs first instead of Jim you could use he he runs first Jim runs first there are some examples given in the book for you go to all of them read text explanation clearly carefully that explanation given after each sentences if it is a noun or a pronoun how it is a noun or how it is a pronoun it will help you to identify noun or pronoun noun or pronoun and how you can use them as subject of a sentence we will talk about this noun letter as well because it has got some more implication but for now you keep practicing this and you will definitely learn English this time no worries also finish the exercises first you finish it once you have understood it teach it to the students then Thank you very much.